Nikes. Okay, there we go. Hi. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Oh, wait. I can't start the video until we get out of here. Okay. Do, 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 Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, anyway, welcome back to JJ Rick's Rides with Waymo. We are going to a couple of places in the north end of the service area here. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we're going up a mountain and we're going somewhere else. So hopefully it should be a little more exciting. But uh, yeah, until then, we got a nice unprotected left across a lane and a half or so. Still going in Scottsdale. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed meeting Alex Roy. That was amazing. I, I'm, oh man. He uh, has his amazing daughter with him, so, uh, and she doesn't have a booster seat, so we couldn't ride, because, you know, Waymo is, uh, Waymo, that's okay. Uh, we didn't prepare for that, but, uh, yeah, still, still glad I got to meet him for a few minutes there. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Good times, good times. Hey y'all, super quick pause from today's video just to give a shout out to Array Labs, the company that helped make this entire trip possible and they're the reason I went to SF finally. Uh, those videos are coming soon. Anyway, in case you missed it last time, Array is basically building the first 3D scanner for Earth in space. And the data that Array's global 3D scanner will generate is the exact kind of information that could be really helpful for sensor fusion, self-driving stacks, and specifically, they would help autonomous systems with localization, perception, and planning. So when Array launches its first satellite ring into space, self-driving companies will be among its first customers. And that is why a space company is sponsoring a self-driving car YouTuber. So yeah. Um, but for more info on Array, check the description in, of this video. And with that, let's get back to the ride. Hey there. So, how do you like it? It's great. It's great? Yeah, you should try it. <laughs> wow. Is it taking you somewhere? Uh, yeah, just around, you know. Oh, okay. How do, how, do I get, how do I get to it? Uh, Waymo. Waymo app. You get the app. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good deal. Are you feeling safe? Yeah, I've, I've been riding these a while. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very cool. Ah. So the real question is, can I keep adding stops? Because this is, uh, they, they're still doing the no more stops can be added on this trip thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Oh, okay, so at least we're going, yeah, Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall area here. Got plenty of traffic to see. Um, yeah. Making a right turn, Camelback. Sotheby's is the other Sotheby's, like famous auction thing. Sorry about the ice, my water. Oh, dang it. Oh, that is annoying. Maybe I can empty. 
you have the eyes. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> license plate in front of us says biohacker. Wonder if they've got any funny implants. Maybe I can maybe if I turn the bottle sideways it'll shut up. Yeah, sort of. Cool. Because the last few videos were short, I think I'm going to stretch this one out a bit. Um, uh, the long ride videos aren't really the meta anymore. But I don't care. Uh, I'm stubborn like that. how far up the mountain we are actually going here. Uh, we're not really actually. Uh, I wonder if I can set it even farther up there, because that would be kind of funny. Uh, oh, wow, I can. Yeah, let's do that. Destination updated. Cool. before it gets dark. Then I gotta head back and go to sleep so I can wake up at the crack of dawn. Or before the sun rises so I can go to the airport. Uh. 
Hell, goodness. shake in there as we go into this turn. All right. Yeah, what I did was uh, fill up the ice at in and out Burger, and I guess they have really melty ice. I'm sure ice just does that, but... <laughs> Why am I talking about ice so much? Yeah, whatever. Kind of a quiet desert neighborhood here. Except there's cameras all over the place. Cool. Almost there. Don't forget your belongings. sometimes how they build these fancy houses on the side of a mountain. You, you figure they, uh, they would, uh, you know, blow up the side of the hill or something, but how do you even, how, how steep of a hill can the construction equipment climb, is what I'm wondering. It's, uh, wow! Hill climbing in an EV. Oh, this is sick. Wow, okay. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna let me out right here, okay. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. Okay. I'm gonna call that a video. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.